Hi, this is Avinash. I'm one of the founders of Market Motive, and I welcome you to this edition of the Web Analytics video. And um, I'd be racking my brains about what to talk about for this particular video, and I struck upon this idea to share with you some of my favorite reports. Um, when I open a Web Analytics application, these are the things that I like to do first. Um, they're both simple and yet deeply insightful and actionable. Um, and I think that you're really going to enjoy this um, video. And more than that, I believe that you're going to be able to understand uh, some core behaviors on your website much better than you had been able to perhaps in the past. And uh, most important of all, um, be able to take action on the data. As you all know, I mean, the challenge with web analytics always has been the same. Is There's just a ton of data. There's just so much data staring at you all the time. Uh, there's really no dearth of metrics available. Uh, I always say in my uh, presentations that no company died because it did not have enough data. I think we have more data than we know what to do with. And, and most often, this is the reaction that most people encounter. Whoa, you know, like, where do I go? I, um, I want to go take a breather to, just by looking at the application. And, and that's really um, sort of um, sad. Um, and and uh, in in some ways, it's, it's really not true. So, you know, I, I always encourage people, you know, calm down a little bit, take a deep breath, and, and let's actually – um, let's actually see what kind of things your business is solving for and then figure out how to take action. So what what I want to do is, is share with you five specific things that you can do with your web analytics data. And, and I believe that regardless of whether you're running a e-commerce website, nonprofit, paid campaigns, or really literally across the spectrum, independent of what your website is hoping to do, um, I think that you will find um, these reports to be extremely actionable. I also cover many different tools, so we're going to have some fun. So let's get going. The very first report, you know, it's 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 a search engine world, search 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 world, <laughs> and <laughs> so let's let's I start with um, something that I I really like, which is. Um, search keywords and and the, you know the, the, there isn't there there's so much said about search keywords and there's just so much said about search that you might think that there's nothing left to be said but but what i want to challenge you with is is to think about the data differently and simply how it's presented and how you experience it and by that what i mean is um this is not common right you 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 can go in you can click and you can see all your search engines and there they are you know live in msn you can see the visits and bounce this is great standard reports. Um, here's and then you can click on a particular search engine. I forget which one I clicked here, um, and then you can look at all your keywords and, and understand you know all these core metrics. We've covered all these before, 